Now, when you're creating a website, layouts play a very key role because layout gives your site that distinction. Um, it gives your site a different look. It gives it makes your site looks different. So what we're going to take a look at now on the layout part is you're going to see how you can be able to add different sections. You can delete, you can move things around, you can drag, you can drop, you can hide things on different parts of the site. So let's go now with the layout here and we're going to start it from the very top. This is the page title. Okay, the page title. So let me just come out from this uh, full screen here. So this is the page title. Let me see if I can show you an example of the page title here. So you see where it says about. This is the page title section. So if you wanted to make any changes on the Helix on this page um, section, here, you can enable it or you can disable it. So let's go with something here. First, with the layout, you can move things around. If I, I can move this down, I can move it up. So you can drag any item here in any part of the website that you want. So you can drag something up, you can drag it down, you can move it around. So let's go over to this now. You click the layout builder. You see here you have different options in terms of how many how it's going to look. So right now what this is saying is taking a span of 12. Okay, and this is based off of Twitter Bootstrap um, 5. So 12 meaning that is the max number that you can have in any span so the numbers have to total 12 it doesn't matter the combination you have but it has to total 12 in order for um, for you to use it so 6 plus 6 4 plus 4 plus 4 whatever combination that you use or you can create your own combination the bottom line is that it has to equal to the number 12 now let's go over to the options with the options, you can change the title. The title is pretty much just um, is for you to know uh, what is you know what that section is about. Now I'm not going to go over you know the custom CSS class and everything here, but you can create several classes for that. You can make this full width. Let's go over to the style. You can add patterns. You can add margins. You can even change the text color. So if you wanted to change the text color for um, this part right here. You can change what text color that is. So let's say I wanted to change uh, the link, the background color. You can also have some fun with the background color. So let's just see how that looks. So let's get that uh, that red, and then we'll click save, and then let's see what it looks like now on this part. So let's go back over here to the option. over here to the style and uh, somehow it's not going through now maybe I have to update but you can change this blue to whatever color that you want it to be oops let me put this back here you can change this blue to whatever color you want it to be for that row and let's go to responsiveness now responsiveness you can hide items on different parts of the site so if you wanted to hide let's say this here on the mobile phone the title part well you can do that you can click hide on phone you can hide it on any device that you don't want it to show and then you click on apply and then that should be able to let me go back here that should be able to show how whatever changes that you made on the front end Okay, maybe I have to clear my cache or something. Sometimes if you have a cache that's shown there. So that's how you can change uh, the row options. And then next, let's go over to, you can pretty much, once you're able to customize any one of these, you can do the same thing for any one of them. So if you notice you have three dots, you click on those dots. You can make that a component area. I don't go too much into that. You can look at the grid options. Um, in terms of how it shows on different um, gadgets for the desktop, the tablet, smartphones. You can choose the responsiveness where it shows and where it doesn't show. So again, if you want to clear a new layout, you click here. And then you choose the type that you want. right? So you can use the layout builder and you can choose here. So the layout builder gives you a lot of room 
uh, to be able to just add as many layouts as you need to. But since I don't need this section here, I'm just going to delete it. So everything you're seeing right, you have the page title, you have the main body, you have the bottom, you have the footage. So it's broken up into several sections here. The main body is all of this content that you see right here. And then, of course, the footage. So if I delete the footer, it's going to delete this part 